So, I don't really know how to explain what this video is. It's kind of just like a week in my life and just like the random shit that I've been doing. I feel like filming an intro just isn't really something I do anymore when I'm actually filming this. I'm filming like a sit down video. Oh yeah, titty titty, jiggle 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 jiggle. I'm just living in the moment. So I'm not filming no goddamn intro. It's always gonna happen. Oh my God. Wow, check this one out. I'm actually those I'm up on my exclusive site. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, enjoy what my life looks like in like a week worth of time and then at the end i've got something special for you guys you guys have been asking about my skincare routine mainly over on tiktok but my skincare routine's at the end i mean if you want your skin on glow go babo get you babo tell them to subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up because you know you're gonna like it so I guess what's going on. So I was running on the treadmill earlier. Probably my last like five minutes I get a text from Cynthia. She goes, please tell me you're not busy. And I was like, no, I'm just running. I'm like, please tell me you're giving me an excuse to stop running. She goes, will you come with me to a runway show situation? And I was like, oh shit, perfect. Thank God I'll be there. And she lives really close to me. So hopped off the treadmill, hopped in the shower, got ready so fucking fast. We look amazing. We look so hot. We look, you can't really tell like actually, how good we tell, look. We look so we'll, we'll get some good pics for you guys. I'll insert them or something. Got ready so fucking fast, and now we're here. There's swans in the middle of the show, so. And now this is our life. Yeah. We love fashion. We love fashion. <laughs> Watching this clip, I completely forgot to mention to you guys that I have never been more uncomfortable in my entire life at a fashion show. First of all, kind of iconic. They kicked two people out of front row for Cynthia and I. <laughs> it was amazing. Second of all, the girl was sitting next to me, like complete stranger. She was like, so what do you think of the swans? And I was like, I mean, they're pretty. Like, I don't really know what to say. Like, they're swans. Like, and then she just goes silent for a couple seconds. And I was like, what do you think of the swans? <laughs> and she's like, I think it's pretty messed up. And she's just like staring at me. And I was like, okay. Very uncomfortable. I'm never going to a fashion show over again. <laughs> MadCon boy is calling me. Uh -uh. He's trying to recruit me to MadCon. I told him a million times, I'm good on that. I don't want to be a MadCon. I'm over that shit. You would ask me in 2014, I would have been there. Nowadays, I'm good. My price is too high. You want to know something funny? I probably won't include this, but. <laughs> between the toes? The camera between the toes? <laughs> oh, just a little. Okay, so we're still, I keep wanting to say like, we're at the game. We're at the fights. Yeah, we're at the fights. We're at the fights. It's main card started. And, uh, like four fights in. Next. Owen lost. Owen lost, how do you feel about that? I'm pretty bummed Owen lost. He, he would have had a, he, he got caught up in the moment. And, and the dude Owen is technically chance. his friend too. Like I don't claim anything. All I claim is Peyton at the very end. That's all I claim. But and honestly, up, I, don't even, I don't even know him either. Next up, we got Billy Brand. He this lost to true. only Peyton. So it doesn't even count as a loss. The other dude he's fighting is undefeated. So he thinks he's hot shit, but he's never fought Peyton. Uh -huh. And this was like the only competitive fight that Peyton's okay. had. So I got Billy. Sure. I just want to know what tax bracket everyone's in because I need to figure out who the fuck I need to DM. You guys know who I got? Oh. Hey, bro! What a dumbass. Why would he? He, he, hops, on, what he hops on the cage and goes, Yeah, yeah, I lost. Yeah, yeah, I lost. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, unanimous, I lost. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event comes to a close. Declaring your winner by TKO and still A1 Combat Bantamweight Champion, Peyton Townsend! Slay! Come on, Pookie. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. We we're, love a week in the life vlog. I just uploaded one. Make sure to tune into it after this. Uh huh. Right now we're at the Gia showroom. We're well, we're outside the Gia showroom because which might as well have been in Las Vegas, Nevada. We just drove for like an hour to get downtown, but it, that's because it's rush hour. I did not sign up for this. They they tricked me. They yeah, tricked I told, me. I told them it was next door because I wanted his presents. But honestly, I mean it's Gia, so I mean maybe sista. I'm robbing the stove. Anyways, what I need to get into really quickly is this refresher right here, Ooh, the paradise yeah, drink. I was really excited. I saw this drink in a Target. I was walking through the Target. Target has Starbucks inside of it. Starbucks was closed. And I was like, okay, well, I'll be back another day and I will get this Paradise Refresher. It's supposed to be like pineapple vibes, whatever. And so we go to Starbucks and I'm like, oh wait, the Paradise Refresher, let's get it. Very excited. It's supposed to be like a pink drink, but it's like pineapple. Shit's ass. This is probably one of the most disgusting refreshers I've ever had. The pineapple tastes so artificial. It tastes like a literal vape. I feel like it could be made good if you add vanilla and like strawberry puree, but that's... That's about it. It looks like I loved it though because I drank the whole thing, but it's like, we're not wasting. You guys know I don't even fucking like coffee and I just got this coffee from the showroom over there. I don't know what it is. It's Thurla. It's so goddamn good. Sure. Diablo's an idiot, keeps calling it Circus Delay. It's a, it has the name Circus in it. Well, we missed the carpet completely, so that's good. Put on this outfit for nothing. But Brooke and I took really good pictures of each other, so that's all that matters. I think the show already started too, so we're just gonna see what happens. I think I might just be here for a glass of champagne and then dipping. Really excited to see how this goes. I used to want to be in Cirque du Soleil when I was I like a young excited. dancer, and this is as close as it's getting. I used to see Cirque du Soleil shows all the time growing up in Vegas. We're the clown. You're the clown. Don't screenshot for me. No, thank you very much, but I prefer to continue work. It's the intermission's happening right now. We're leaving for no reason in particular. I don't know. Actually, I'm not gonna shit talk because <laughs> it was free. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting ready to go to bed, and I feel like I should just show you guys my nighttime skincare routine because I haven't really done that in a long time. And you guys are asking about it all the time over on my TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to film it on YouTube right now, and I'm going to film it on TikTok on my other phone right here. I don't know how the fuck this is going to go down, but you guys are going to get to watch this in real time. So like I said, I just got out of the shower, and I was taking a hot shower, so I washed my face in the shower. I'm never going to miss the opportunity to wash my face with really open pores. The cleanser that I've been liking a lot as of late, is the Cosmic Dew Water Cleanser by The Good Light. It just makes my skin feel really, really clean and really gets in there, but at the same time, I feel like it hydrates my skin. I've been in a hydrate the fuck out of my skin era, so this is really doing the job. I'm also really lucky because I feel like I receive a lot of PR when it comes to skincare, so I get the opportunity to try out a lot of different products so I can find out what my skin likes, what it doesn't like, what's just actually good and what's not good. I know skincare is one of those things that can actually get really expensive, like if you want to try a bunch of shit, like it's gonna cost you a pretty penny a lot lot of times. You guys don't have to spend your money. <laughs> I got it for free so I can tell you what's good and what's not. After I washed my face, I got out and I shaved my face because I'm doing a face mask tonight and I just have like plans tomorrow so I want a clean shaved face. But I also really like shaving my face when I do like a face mask or something because you know when you get a facial and you get like dermaplaning done and like you just remove so much dead skin. I feel like if you're using a sharp ass razor, it kind of doing the same thing. Like when I'm shaving my face, like I don't just shave where the hair grows. I'm not kidding. I'm shaving like up to my cheeks. I've even gotten crazy with it and shaved like my forehead before but that's like risky business and I don't want to fuck up my eyebrows or hairline so I don't do that anymore. <laughs> the mask that I'm gonna do is the pore clarifying clay mask by Bloom. I really like the stuff. I don't remember when I received it but it makes my skin feel really clean. Obviously my skin's got some breakouts. My shit is not perfect but you guys know what I used to look like so I feel like I know what I'm doing when it comes to the masks too. I've tried a lot of masks and I really like this one actually. I like to apply my masks with a brush because I feel like one it's cleaner and two it's like fun. I'm painting my face. Are you kidding? I saw some dermatologists on TikTok talking about how they think sheet masks are kind of pointless and that broke my heart because there's nothing I love more than a Dr. Jart face mask. I have a couple Dr. Jart face masks in my drawer right now that I could be using, but I like to use those when I like really need like some heavy hitting shit that just like goes crazy or if I have like a shoot or something because they're expensive as fuck. I also really like applying face masks with a brush because it's less messy. Like look at my hands. She said, look ma, no hands. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is leave this mask on for like 15 minutes and then we're gonna get into the fun shit. All right, it's been 15 minutes and so I'm gonna wash this off it dries down really well like you can see like the color of my skin through this almost so i'm just gonna wash it off i know a lot of people are like anti using a towel to dry your face off and i get it i get it but i don't know about you but my body's clean my body is clean when i get out of the shower so a little dirt never hurt i get it but like
like I'm not gonna sit here and use like paper towels or like I could use something reusable But if you think about it technically a towel is reusable ever thought about that My favorite toner is the moon glow milky toning lotion by the good light It's like watery it exfoliates and I'm not kidding I could use just this on my face and not need a moisturizer But I'm not gonna do that. You know, that's just weird. It's light. It's watery. It's airy It's hydrating. It's exfoliating. It's everything I need and more so when it comes to serums I use the niacinamide by the ordinary and right now I'm using skin proud's 2% hyaluronic acid serum I usually use the one by the ordinary because it's just like my tried and true But I can't find it or I ran out of it So we're just gonna go with this because it's still hyaluronic acid I like to pat it into the skin and then start like moving it around and rubbing it in just because I feel like that's better for application Oh yeah, we're starting to give glazed donut. Okay, now you're probably thinking, Mari, you can't be fucking serious. Yes, the fuck I am, bitch. This is a high frequency zapper, radio, whatever. Can that stop doing that? Like, the ghetto. Anyways, this thing zaps your zits, kills the bacteria. If you've ever gotten a facial, you know. And what I love about this is that it's actually, I feel like, one of the only products that can actually get rid of a zit overnight because it actually just kills the fuck out of bacteria and then boom gone it's a little nerve-wracking because when you are using it you're like well what am i about to get myself into but just try it a couple times and you'll understand also it's important to clean this thing with like isopropyl alcohol afterwards because it gets rid of the bacteria that is on it okay ready three two oh. <laughs> we're cranking it up i don't care if i'm using this wrong this is how i use it and it's worked for me every single time I really like using it on my chin too because I get a lot of like little whiteheads right here. Tiny, tiny, tiny ass whiteheads, but they never come back now that I use this here. Ah! But there will be no whiteheads tomorrow, bitch. Oh. <laughs> Going near the eyebrow always low key terrifies me because what if I sap that hell off? I don't think that's possible. Okay, I feel like there's something going on in the middle of my forehead. I saw something like yesterday. Like, oh, I see this hub. We got a little snaky hub here. Quick, easy, and not as scary as you think. After I do that, I like to use the Derma Doctor Cockadoo C High Potency Evening Oil, 20% Vitamin C Ester, Ferulic Acid, and Vitamin E Esters. I don't know what the fucking ester is, but this oil is amazing. And I don't know if I'm doing this in like the right order. I've wondered for a hot minute now if I should be doing this before I zap, after I zap, but I also don't always zap, so. I don't know why exactly when I use this stuff, like some of the skin starts to come off or like there's like killing almost. I feel like they're probably to do with the order I'm using the products in or maybe the combination of products. But like I said, this is just what works for me. But if I am doing something wrong, go ahead and give me recommendations. Don't berate me. By the way, I wouldn't use this product in the daytime. Like I said, it's an evening oil. I would just cut this out in the daytime. But as for the rest of the skincare routine, Everything in the daytime remains the same except for the zapper I probably wouldn't do that in the daytime And then obviously I'm not just gonna do a face mask in the daytime Unless it was like a really hydrating one or something The moisturizer is what changes at night, I'll show you Okay, so obviously I've been loving the Good Lights products They're not sponsoring anything, I just really have been loving their products um, But if you wanna like do a brand deal with me, hey I'm right here. My moisturizer for nighttime is the Good Light Order of the Eclipse Hyaluronic Cream. It's just thick, a little goes a long way. I feel like it's so amazing for locking everything in and just my skin feels so juicy and good when I use this stuff. And I also feel like maybe using their products with each other actually is beneficial. I don't know, I really like it though. I usually put moisturizer on my neck too, but I have severe eczema on my neck right now, which I know is kind of embarrassing, but it's the truth. And I don't want to put anything on that's not hydrocortisone cream because I don't want to fuck it up. If it were daytime, I'd use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with 30 SPF in it. This stuff is amazing. I'm not kidding. One time I dropped this thing on its side and I scooped the product back into it because one, it's like a little pricey. Two, it's that good. I'm not wasting a drop. And then the last and final step in my skincare routine is pimple patches. I really only use the Peace Out Acne ones, Starface. They don't do it for me. They're cute, but they really don't do it for me. They're not effective. They don't do it quite like these. I really only put these patches on my big chunk of zits because I feel like they're ineffective on like tiny, tiny little ones. I just zapped them and like did other things to it. So it's like, mm, that one's good. And that concludes my night time skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm glad I could give you guys an update. If you guys have any questions about any products, if you guys want to know more about products I don't like in particular, feel free to ask me about that. Or if you guys just want to see like a separate segment or something like that, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys. I hope you guys learned something from this. I'll respond to all of your comments about any products. And then by the way, most if not all these products will be linked in my Amazon storefront in the description. So don't be shy. Spend some money. Go check out some of those products. There's also a lot of other products that I do like that are linked to my Amazon storefront. So it's not just going to be these skincare products. Just skincare products 
products I recommend overall. You guys know me, I'm a skincare guru. Practically an esthetician at this point, or a dermatologist. Skin on glow glow. I wish the lighting in here was like a little bit better so you could really, really see it. Like if I had like a ring light in here or something, but we're not fitting a ring light in my bathroom. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed what my life looks like in one week's worth of time. That was a weird way of saying that, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching today's video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next on my channel if you always want me to film with anyone in specific, if you have anything in specific that you want to see. Follow all my social media links down below as always. And if you want to shop any of those products from my skincare routine, my Amazon storefront is also linked below. I am an Amazon storefront hooker now. So there's that. Love you guys.